back to school safely. As we consider returning to school, it can be so anxiety inducing for students and parents alike. There's one family in Manhattan that is weighing the pros and cons of what returning to school will actually look like and what impact it will have on their family. Here is mom Tanya Jones in her own words. I'm apprehensive about sending my son who's 15 to school because A, the trains. Um, I'm a little uncomfortable having him on the trains, especially in New York City. We all know that everyone gets packed into the trains like sardines. Once he gets into school, I mean, I have no idea what they're doing in terms of safety. I know there's lots of talk about cleaning, but are there plexiglass boards hanging up between students? What are they doing to really make sure that these kids are social distancing? And then, you know, I'm hearing stories of people who have COVID but are not telling anybody they have COVID. So, you know, my nerves are all in a bundle um, and I'm really conflicted right now. I'm just, I just want him to get back on a schedule. I want him to get up in the morning and also like be seated and ready to learn. Whereas, um, you know, back in the spring, it was more like he would get up and he would dabble into his work, but there was no sort of like scheduled meetings every day. Um, and I think he still needs that. I think all of these kids need that. I also want him to just see his friends and like have some time with them, eat lunch with them, talk to them. Um, even though he's had the summer to see friends outside and social distance, it's a little, it's different. It's not the same. There is so much to consider as we look at the transition of going back to school. And joining us right now is Dr. Patrice Reeves-Bright. She is the Children's Behavioral Health Medical Director for Fidelis Care. Good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. You know, a lot of what Tanya Jones said resonated with me as a parent. It is very much a personal choice, uh, but what are you encouraging families to do? Some of us have the option to do hybrid. Some of us don't. So, so what are you encouraging parents to do? Thank you, Marisol. That is a very popular and very important question right now, particularly these days. It's a very personal decision for parents to decide whether or not they send their children back to school. They have to weigh many things, balancing the educational needs of their child and risk as well. There are many health considerations to, um, to pull into that decision. Um, every situation is unique. I can't speak to individual families, but I do recommend that parents speak to their pediatrician or healthcare provider to help them make that decision. So how do we go about prepping students? Because um, you know, we heard her say, gosh, I, I'm so excited for a schedule, but there are also some safety concerns. You know, she mentioned putting her son on a train. Um, some, we don't know what that's gonna look like. So how should we prep students as parents uh, when, they, when they embark out? Absolutely, that's a great question. I think one of the most important things is to work with, your, to work with your child to establish a routine. Set a schedule that includes times for sleeping, eating, physical activity, but also include that downtime because that's very important as well. You also wanna talk through expectations with your children early and often. The more you can work to listen, encourage and engage them um, to, in this planning process, the more prepared they'll feel. And remember, these are really trying times. Above all, please be, be easy on yourself as a parent. Right, there's, there's a lot to consider, especially, especially with the messaging. But I, I, you know, for example, my school gave me a list of things that my, my, student, my children need to bring. They need to have two masks. They need to have uh, hand sanitizer. What mm -hmm. should, the, how can we prepare them at home? So when they go to school, because I think about little ones wearing a mask, for however many hours for in-school participation is mm -hmm. tough. So how do we prepare them at home for, for all the, the, the new normal with all these safety guidelines? That can be really, really difficult. I think one of the best ways to prepare, as you said, is to start at home and start soon um, before school starts. Um, you want to start to reinforce those safety precautions at home. Uh, you may want to start to perform temperature checks daily with your child or have them practice wearing a mask for extended periods of time to make them a bit more comfortable and get them in the habit of these new norms. So, so, so very important. And also, very briefly, the way we bring this message to our children is just as important. If we are hysterical, 
our children will be hysterical. So what words of wisdom do you have for us as parents at home watching when we talk to our children about this new normal? Sure, that's so very true. Uh, Marisol, everyone, when we think our kids aren't watching, they are watching. Children learn behaviors by watching their parents and other adults. They watch how we manage our stress. They watch how they see how we express our emotions. And during these times of uncertainty, it's very natural that we're all experiencing periods of fear and anxiety. But I think that's even more important right now for parents to really work to be a positive role model, show their kids how to you know, respond with resilience and flexibility and openness to change. Dr. Patrice reeves Bright, thank you so much for your words of wisdom this morning. We certainly appreciate it. Thank you so much.